Hello all and welcome back to my channel, Drink Crafts with Paige. I am Paige and I'm I'm still drinking cider. Nothing new. <laughs> this week we are going to be decorating our final wooden tray. If you happen to remember, I bought a three pack a while ago and we decorated one with resin and it was kind of lava looking. It was a lot of warm colors and we decorated a second one with an acrylic pour and we coated that whole thing in resin when we were done. So we have one final tray to decorate. I plan on this being kind of a chill project, a really nice and simple design that we will end up coating in resin in the end. So if you would like to see how this tray turns out, please continue watching. As is standard for a lot of our projects, we are going to be starting with a base coat. And I have preemptively taped back our little rope handles just to prevent them from getting in the way and hopefully from reducing the amount of like little twine fuzzies that end up in our paint. So for this project, I'm going to do different shades of pink. I don't typically do shades of pink. And we're going to be starting out with this like bubblegum shade just to do a couple coats on the bottom. coat is done and maybe I should have picked a darker color than pink because I actually had to do like four or five layers of paint in here to get it to be a nice solid pink color so maybe on such a dark wood surface I would suggest also a dark color but what's done is done we're still rolling with the pink and now we are going to be painting some fun just kind of designs, swirlies and such in the bottom. And we're gonna be using this really bright neon pink. Here is our finished tray design. I know it was kind of hard to see what exactly I was doing in that time lapse. And it might even be a little hard now just because of the pink on pink, but I thought it would be fun to also throw in some just gold accents in there. So I have this gold oil paint marker that we're gonna use to just throw some gold lines in here before we coat it in resin. Our little additions of gold are dry, and now it is time for the final touch, which is just a nice coat of resin on the bottom. Our final step is complete. The resin coat is cured. So we're gonna take a close look at how this tray turned out. I really like it. See how shiny with that resin coat? But the intricate lines and all these gold accents. I wanted this design to be nice and simple, and it was. It's just kind of a bunch of different lines, but this did take forever to do, so keep that in mind if you wanna try to do this yourself. I also really like the gold accents, but something that I haven't tried before is kind of doing layers upon layers of resin work, so that might be something fun to try in the future, is if we had done like a layer of the resin and then the gold details, and then another layer of resin on top. Either way, we'll take some up-close shots outside in the natural light so you can get a good look at how our tray turned out. so much for watching my video this week. I hope you all enjoyed the craft 
and if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I have a Facebook page and an Instagram linked down in the description box below, as well as a PayPal account if you would like to contribute to the channel. Also down below is a list of all of the materials that we used in this week's video if you would like to try to create anything at home on your own. I'll see you guys all for the next video. Cheers!